What's poppin'? It's your boy Dope. <laughs> Brunch Dope is here, okay? Brunch Dope is here. <laughs> Breakfast has been served, okay? Holy Dope is here. Dewey Dope is here. Ralph Lauren Swimming Trunks Dope is here. Sunday Dope is here. With another YouTube video. Tiny Pancakes. Everybody likes them tiny pancakes. You can't make them too big. Gotta put some butter on them bitches. You feel me? It's a little, it's a little thing, you know, you just, you just slide them across all of them, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't see it, but shit, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram now. Y'all gonna see it. And we got the eggs, light and fluffy for a little. I did that. Literally. Oh, yeah. I made your eggs. Look at you. You didn't get any eggs? Oh my god. I look like I'm dying. Hello. This is the bacon. You good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's almost like beef jerky. I don't think that's a good thing when it comes to bacon. This is turkey bacon. This ain't pork bacon. Gotta keep it healthy. Alright, uh, uh, open this. Hold up. Nah, I'm too player. I pop bottles in the club all the time. I know how to do this. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Uh huh. Y'all see that? Y'all like that? Uh huh. Give me a glass real quick. Just a little bit of that. Ooh. Okay now. Hold up. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna do a little bit more than that. Yeah. Just a little bit. If you under 21, this is nothing but sparkling orange juice. Okay. If you over 21, you know what it is. It's your boy Dope, man. I didn't outdid myself, man. I didn't outdid myself, man. Y'all heard it earlier, she said the shit was good. She said it was good, I'm a chef. Multi-talented, platinum recording artist, YouTuber, chef, photographer. What can I do? You are now brunching with Dope, okay? Mmm, that's good. I could have actually went to brunch, cause that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna go to brunch, cause I haven't been brunching in a long time. But you know what? I said, why don't I bring brunch to the house and do a video, a Q and A? So this is gonna be a Q and A. So I went on my Instagram. I asked y'all to ask me some questions. A few of y'all participated. A lot of y'all didn't, but it's okay though. I'm starting to realize y'all don't really like me. If I would've said. I'm doing a Q&A with Aaliyah. Y'all would've been on my dick. Y'all would've been all over. Y'all would've dropped all type of comments. But since I'm doing it by myself, I only got like 10, 15 of y'all. But it's okay. I'ma still do the video because I love doing these videos. Happy Sunday. Happy brunch day. Happy August. I hope y'all August is going really, really good. Croissant. Be a little bit more sippy sip. Mm. And before we get into this, you already know, I need y'all to go ahead, like, and comment, and subscribe. Before we even start this video, go ahead and leave a comment. You ain't even started the video yet. Just leave a comment. Just say, I love you, dope. Just say something. Just comment just because. Just leave a comment just to leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, we lit, okay? Like I said, I went on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at Dope DJ. I'm not hard to find, okay? Also follow me so you can participate in these videos because I be trying to, you know, I be trying to interact with y'all. I really want to interact with y'all. That's what social media is about. Interact with y'all, y'all interact back, and we be social. Some people don't like to be social on social media. That shit weird to me. I'm not gonna waste too much time, y'all. I'm gonna get straight into these questions. I'm gonna leave the juicy ones for later because y'all know it's gonna get a little hectic up in here. First question is, how did you manage moving out being so young? I'm 24 years old right now, 95 baby. You already know what's going on. Shout out to all my 90s kids, all my 2000s kids. We the future, okay? I moved out of my mom's house when I was 18. And honestly, the only reason I moved out is because I didn't like living in Texas. My last two years of high school, I moved to Texas with my mom. I was in a rush to get back to Atlanta. Like, I didn't, I didn't even participate in graduation, nothing. Like, I was like, all right, school over with, I'm gone. So I left. But when I left, I wasn't necessarily by myself. 
So I had a lot of help. I had a lot of family in Atlanta. So I ended up staying with my grandma. I got a job, staying with my grandma. You know, I was stacking bread, you know, I was doing good. Then I got fired from my job, no more money. My grandma kicked me out because she was like, you can't stay here. She ain't play that shit. So I went and lived with my other grandma. And two years later, when I was 20, I ended up staying by myself, getting my own place. It was smooth. I mean, how did I manage? I mean, it was a struggle. Like, I don't, I'm not even gonna say like I managed, like I just did it. If you're thinking about moving out, I would say just stack your bread. Or matter of fact, don't even move out. Like, I feel like so many people, especially young people, myself, even myself, because I, when I was 18, I thought like this too. I feel like a lot of young people always want to move out and they're not even ready. Like you think you're ready, but you're not really ready to move out, you know? But honestly, I'm gonna keep it real. Stay with your parents as long as you can. As long as they will allow you to stay with them, stay with your parents, if you don't mind. Now, if you're one of those independent, strong-willed people, by all means, move out. But the right thing to do is really live with your parents until they say you can't no more. Because when I tell you, life is no joke. Bills is no joke, and they come fast. Every time I look up, I feel like, damn, I'm paying the bill again. Like, bills is no joke. So as long as you ain't got no bills, don't make no bills. Stack your bread. God damn, I did my thing on these pancakes, and they small, small and cute. I like that. This shit good. Like I said, I could've went to brunch and blew a bag and had a great time. But I'm doing the same exact thing here for $20. All this, everything was $20, including the champagne. Everything together was $20, and I'm still brunching. What I'm missing out on? Save money a little better. Feel me? I need some more of this. Like I said, if you under 21, this ain't nothing but sparkling water. Don't even pay no attention. Hit it with a little. Uh, with a little bit of uh, uh, and a little bit of uh, uh, and then just fall out. I like it when you uh, uh. Question number two. What's the nastiest thing you ever done? And she said it don't have to be sexual. And that's good because I'm a Christian. Holy dope, I'm here. Anytime you see this white do rag, it's holy dope. And it's Sunday, I can't talk about sex. The nastiest thing I ever done is probably, I'm gonna be honest, the nastiest thing I ever done is probably clean up behind Ghost. Y'all know Ghost, our dog? Yeah, he's a nasty motherfucker, okay? This nigga, about, okay, uh, story time. About two weeks ago, me and Aaliyah went out. You know, we having a good time. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. We had bars, we had lounges. Having a good old time, you know what I'm saying? And then, we come home, I open the door, I'm like, damn, it smell like shit. I'm like, ghost and shit. Aaliyah walks in the bathroom, shit everywhere. I'm talking about shit everywhere. Now, I shouldn't be talking about this probably nasty, I know, but you asked what's the nastiest thing I ever done, so I'm gonna give it to you, okay? Shit everywhere on the wall, on the floor, and he stepped in and he was just stomping all in the shit, okay? Stomping all in the shit, like it was everywhere, okay? It looked like a crime scene, it looked like first 48. Aaliyah was ready to sell the apartment. She was like, no, I'm done. She was like, they can have this shit. Luckily, we was kind of lit, so we cleaned it up, put him in the shower, cleaned him up. That's probably the nastiest shit I ever done. I'm gonna be honest. If you have an animal or if you have a baby, you know cleaning up poop is not fun, especially when it's everywhere. Did I tell y'all this breakfast was good as fuck? Did I tell y'all? I don't think I told y'all. Question number three. Like I said, y'all don't love me. Y'all don't really care about me. One asked me to tell a story time about how me and Aaliyah met. Go all the way back to the year like 2000 and, I don't know, 2006, 2007. Honestly, 2005. Me and Aaliyah was classmates at Everett Middle School. Shout out to everybody who goes to Everett right now. If you're watching this, you know, Everett Middle School, I don't know if y'all still the Eagles or not, I don't know. We both went to Everett Middle School. We, like, we was classmates and we didn't, like at first we didn't really talk like that. Like we knew mutual people, but we didn't, we never talked like that. I think it was a girl I was trying to talk to and Aaliyah was like her friend. And you know how like people try to put you on people. So like Aaliyah ended up getting my number and me and Aaliyah started like texting. But we started like texting heavy like every day. Conversation went from like, oh, you should talk to her or you know, y'all should get together to like me and Aaliyah really just like talking. And this is like, we're like 12, 13 years old. Like we're kids. So we started talking like every day. Like every day we would just text all day. We would get on the phone and we would talk all day. I don't know what the fuck you talk on the phone for all day at 13. But yeah, we used to just be on the phone all day. Summertime, every day nonstop. Like we were just on the phone, on the phone. We became like best friends. Like she was just my friend. 
and we just remained friends through the years. Eighth grade year, I actually moved to Atlanta. So, you know, of course, you know, we don't live our lives, but we stayed in contact. Not like that, but we stayed in contact enough, you know, to know like, well, okay, we're still friends. Fast forward to the year 2017. And in the year 2017, I actually seen Aaliyah pop up on my Twitter and I seen her picture and I think somebody had like retweeted her picture or retweeted a tweet on my timeline. And I looked at it and I said, yo, I know her. I'm like, this is Aaliyah. And I was like, okay. But I thought somebody had like took her page and like made it into like an Insta thought page or some shit. Like I was like, damn, she got hella followers. I was like, it's not the Aaliyah I know. Cause I, I thought she was like in college, you know what I'm saying? Cause the last time I knew she was in college. So I'm thinking somebody like stole her pictures and like made a whole new page. So I DM'd her and I was like, Aaliyah Gainer? Question mark. And she was like, yep, yeah, hey Dejan. And I was like, oh shit, she know me. She remembers me. So from there, we just started talking again. And I found out she was actually living in Houston. My mom actually lives in Houston. She was only about 15, 20 minutes away from where my mom stayed at in Houston. So I was like, damn, that's crazy. I said, I'm coming to Houston, I'm coming to see you. She didn't believe me. Two weeks later, I was on a plane. I was in Houston, pulled up on her, and we were just chilling, like we would just chill. We would just hang out like old times, talk, catch up, and I would fly back home. I flew back to Houston like three or four times, and we would just hang out, go on little dates. It wasn't really dates, but we would just hang out, you know what I'm saying? I was just tired of Atlanta at the time, and I was like, damn, I need a break. So I was like, hey, my mom's in Houston. The girl of my dreams is in Houston. I might as well move to Houston. So I made the move to Houston. I stayed out there for a year. And I mean, like, basically, like, we've been together ever since. Like, so that's pretty much, like, the story time behind us. Like, we've been, like, we've been friends first. Like, we were always friends. And that's what I advise to anybody out here who really, like, in a relationship, for real. Or, like, if you're searching for a relationship, like, build a friendship with somebody first. Don't look at everybody as, like, oh, boyfriend, girlfriend. Like, everybody not boyfriend, girlfriend. But, like, I feel like the best relationships are relationships that were friendships that turned into relationships, you know what I'm saying? And you can't press the issue of a relationship because we never really, like, pressed the issue of a relationship. We kind of just, like, fell into one, you feel me? Like, we wasn't really like, oh, you my boyfriend, or, like, we never asked each other, like, oh, so what we doing? Like, we, we never asked that, you know what I'm saying? So, we was just vibing, and it just happened. So I feel like that's what every relationship should be like. Find somebody you vibe with and just vibe with them, chill with them, enjoy your time with them, and you know, have fun, have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? And if it turns into more, it turns into more. But I know a lot of people be out here like, oh, I want a boyfriend, I want a girlfriend. That's not the way to go about it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm happy as fuck. Like, I'm very happy, like, not only is she my girlfriend, but she's my homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do homie shit, like, we chill. You know, it's all good. That's the best shit to me. Like, that's the best type of relationship to be in. Don't say I never taught you nothing, okay? Do we have new photo shoots? I, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you saying do me and Aaliyah have new photo shoots. We never did a new photo shoot. Like, we never even took pictures naked together. I got hella pictures of her naked, though. And she got pictures of me naked, too. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cap. She got pictures of me naked, too. But, like, as far as together, Nah, she don't want that smoke. I would embarrass her, okay? I straight embarrass her. My body, my body is like sent from God. You know what I'm saying? Like, her standing next to me is no competition. But that's interesting. We probably should have a new photo shoot. Yeah, we'll probably be lit. Not gonna lie to you. I feel like every couple should have a new photo shoot. Fuck it, we already naked. Y'all see that new photo shoot that went viral on Twitter though? Like it was the two black people, the, the black couple. And they did a whole new photo shoot. They was letting it all hang out. I'm talking about vagina was all in his face and shit. I was like, wow, they wild. But at the same time, that shit was beautiful. Now we ain't never do no, we ain't never do no new photo shoot. That would be, that would be fire though. We should look into that. I really outdid myself with this one. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Put me on Hell's Kitchen. Put me on Chop. They don't want no smoke. I'm telling you, I'm bugging everybody up. Let me get another croissant. This motherfucker is like a buffet. People go on that brunch spending hundreds of dollars. And they can do it right here from the crib. Use your resources, people. So yeah, man. That's pretty much it for this video. 
like I said before, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. I'm gonna continue to brunch. I'm gonna continue to do my thing. I'm feeling kind of tipsy. I'm feeling kind of loose. You know what I'm saying? But I still gotta go to work today, and I gotta edit this video for y'all. So you already know what I'm saying. Your boy Dope is out. You did. Money growing up, you a minor. Bitch, I'm on a dope boy diet. Bitch, I'm on a dope boy diet.